for other portion uh, that related to Shital Madam, she is going to uh, uh, do the exercise today in the laboratory session itself. That if you have any doubt, she is going to solve those doubts. Okay, is the screen visible to you? Okay, okay. So uh, we completed this question uh, that what will be the status of legs? We completed which are the instructions are not valid? We completed what is the size of the address bus? We come yes here uh, we we stopped here here it was required. So now tell me what are the what are the answers that you think of here? So, uh, what is what will be your answer? What you uh, decide what is the case here? See, if you remember regarding to multiplication instruction, in the multiplication instruction, if the answer goes beyond the size, like suppose I'm multiplying a two eight bit numbers, I'm multiplying two bytes, and it is getting a result of sixteen bit, then which flags will be better? Suppose my result, I'm multiplying two 16-bit numbers and result goes to 32, which uh, which flags will be one? Which are the flags that are getting set if you, that we have already discussed. So see, do not waste time because we are running out of time already. So just to check your PPT given in that everything is written. Let me know what is the status. Suppose my multiplication uh, suppose I am having a multiplication instruction. Yes, overflow flag will be one. And what about carry? What about carry? Is that only overflow flag? Verify the PPT given to you already. Or again, whatever the reference that you have taken, in that that must have been specified. Yes, carry bit will also be one. So here, just tell me that if I'm having AL, that is 255, that is maximum value that I'm having. BL is 2, so multiplication with BL, that means AL into BL will be performed here. That value will be 16, uh, will, will it be 8-bit or 16-bit value? AL is 255, BL is uh, 02, right? So 2 into 255 will go into 8-bit result or 16-bit result. 16 bits. So which bits should, should be, get set? Which bit should get set?
हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू ओके सो अगेन शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन okay now what is the case yes it will be uh, cf and of and cy okay what about other case what about uh, so they are uh, so what is that our carry flag is set to 1 carry flag is set to 1 right now whenever it is uh, whenever it is uh, uh, uh okay and and what about uh, other case like what about sequence a uh, what about sequence uh, uh, just a second so for sequence a what we have concluded for sequence a that of and cf c flex are simultaneously set to 1 this is what is one of the possible answer regarding to sequence a we are discussing about sequence a right so this is one of the possible answer from this So now let us see what about other things that we are having for sequence A. That is the OF and C flag are simultaneously set to zero. So and this is incorrect. No, they are simultaneously set to one, and no flags are affected after execution of pro program sequence A. It is again incorrect because OF and C flags are affected. So these are uh, the one of the, from A sequence. These are the things that we concluded. Now let us go for the next case. What is the next case? now tell me what will happen with this that ax is 0 ff fh then you are taking bx and ax <coughs> so bx is again the same as a pro ff fh right what is next we are having not bx can you tell me after not bx what the bx value will be what will be the value of bx tell me the value of bx after this Yes, it will be F zero 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 H true. Absolutely correct. Priyank here, it is yes, Chennai. It is F zero zero zero. And now, if I am exporting A X and B X, what will be so? A X is zero F F F. B X is F zero zero zero. So, can you tell me what will be export of A X and B X? B twice export is performed here. Can you tell me what will be the value here of export? It will be zero 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 zero. okay so now now tell me which of the uh, possible answers for b that comes in your mind what are the possible answers that comes in your mind zero flag is yes zero flag is one okay uh, why 000 priyank i think is not clear with this okay suppose uh, f is Okay, bits are different, so answer should be one, 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 one. Wait, what is XOR? What will be? Then we are having uh, XOR of. Okay, so answer. Okay, wait, just a second. Okay, so yes, uh, yeah, uh, just a second. Let me verify. Uh, yes, it will be one, 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 one. So answer. What will be your answer? so what is your answer zero flag yes of course i think it's uh, he is correct what is the what will be the answer here suppose i am having f i am at uh, i am assuring uh, one with zero what will be the answer answer will be one right so what will be the xor here what will be the xor here what will be the xor here yes xor should be 1111 Is it is it true? 
All of you are comfortable here? Yes, the answer will be FFF. Absolutely correct here. Earlier, uh, somehow, Jenny, uh, I think uh, uh, we missed it. It will be one, 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 one. Absolutely. Thank you, Priyank. It will be uh, one, one. No, no, no issues. Even, uh, even uh, uh, that uh, for a second, also, I, or I too felt the same. So that was just a moment problem. Okay, so that is okay. At the moment, we were wrong at the time. Of course, here it is. It is one, 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 one. Absolutely correct answer. Yes. Uh, thank you, Priyank, for uh, solving this. Now, what will be the answers? Yes, so zero flag will be, uh, what will be the case here? Um, uh, okay, so zero, zero flag will be one or zero. If answer is FFFF, so what will be the status of zero flag? Will it be one or zero? Yes, absolutely, it, is, uh, it will be uh, zero. So zero flag is zero. So that zero flag is zero. What about carry flag? So suppose if you remember for XOR instruction, just verify your PPT. In that also it is mentioned that in any logical instruction, what happens to OF and C by flag? In 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 uh, if you will verify your PPT, yes, they are reset. That means what is the value of them? What is the value of them? That will be zero. Yes, the value will be zero. So yes, uh, so value of CY, value of Z is zero. So this is the uh, one of the possible answer. C and Z flags are simultaneously set to zero. That is one of the possible answer. And what about other? Just let us verify other. Uh, or other uh, points or other options regarding to B. So we will set that Z and C flex are simultaneously set to 1. So that is wrong because Z and C just uh, flex are simultaneously set to 0. So this is true. This is correct. And what about, uh, sorry, it, it is incorrect. I mean, because previous one is correct, where Z and C flex are set to 0. That one was correct. That said, this is incorrect. Right? So this is incorrect. What about next one? OF and C flex are simultaneously set to zero. Is it true? OF and C by flex are simultaneously set to zero. Is it true? Yes. So this is also the correct answer. This is also the correct one. So this is also uh, the, the one that should be selected. And what about remaining one? No flex are affected. No, the flex are affected after this. So this is also incorrect. So answer will be these three points. If you will select all three, then you are going to get your marks. Okay, so uh, any doubt regarding to this this question? Right, uh, again, I'm not going to solve this because it is simply the code that you have uh, taken. I'm not going to solve this too. Yeah, I told you here, here, here also two answers are correct. Why? Because one you have to take from CX, where register will represent your CX and you are going to represent from CX, from CX to AX and then you know, your register will represent AX. Right, and then you have to write uh, two uh, AX that the direction flag will represent two. In that way, two representation will be possible. So that yes, I am not going to solve this. This is very simple problem. This I told you. This is the answer. How to do? Uh, just take this uh, CS C four eight A. Uh, add additional zero because of twenty uh, bit address, and because it is CS, you have to take IP. You cannot take VX VI. This type of question. Already we have solved, right? So this is 2414 uh, uh, that is added and whatever the answer will be, the answer will be this, right? So this is all about, this also we have done, we have completed this, now we are coming to this. Which of the following is the, or are the features of 8086? Which of the following are, or is the feature of 8086? Can you tell me is the, is, is it using two-stage pipeline? Is this the feature? Yes. Uh, fetch, uh, fetch stage can prefetch up to six bytes of instruction. Is that is it correct? Yes. Is it having 32 bit of ALU? No. Is it having 20 bit of data bus? Is it having no? Is it having 19 uh, 19 uh, uh, bit flag register? No. Is it having four segment registers? Yes. So these are the answers that you are, uh, that was expected. Which of the following functions are uh, out of the bus interface unit? If you remember, bus interface unit has four functions that is also mentioned in the PPT. So does bus interface unit fetch the instruction? Does bus interface unit fetch the instruction? 
Who fetches the instruction? We are having two unit, BIU and EU. What EU does? EU executes, right? BIU fetches. Yes, so execution is done by EIU, so it is not done by a BIU. Uh, address generation, yes, it is done by address generation. Queuing and uh, queuing of prefetch of instruction uh, bytes, prefetch instruction byte, yes, it is done. Decoding of instruction, no, it is done by execution and decoding is done by EU. Right, so these are three functions that was that, that are done by BIU. So in case you have not completed it, uh, I mean, if you are not clear, then you should just check out your PPTs in that already all four functions are given. Out of that four, three are mentioned here. Right? Now, next is, <coughs> uh, what is the, uh, okay, so what are, what, which one are the uh, correct one here? Uh, when to, uh, when your control is transferred to a different segment than the current one, then the jump instruction is called, which instruction? Is it intra or inter? Which jump? It is inter. So this is incorrect. Yes, it is inter. Near jump instruction uses 8-bit displacement. Near jump uses 8-bit displacement. No, it is using 16-bit. Yes, it is using 16-bit. Short jump uses 8-bit. Near jump uses 16-bit. This is also incorrect. Short jump can be used to jump this many bytes. Short jump uses how many bits of displacement? Short jump, yes. So short jump is 8. So this is also false. So all are false. Because near jump uses, uh, near jump uses how many? Uh, that is 16 bit. That's why this number is for the near jump. For the short jump, it is 8 bit. Okay. So all three are incorrect. That is the answer. Yes, here, what is the next case? What will be the content of BL after executing the program here? So, okay, let us start with this. Now, if you will go for AL, and then I am going for BL, right? And I am going for the iteration. Right, I'm going for the iteration, but I don't I don't think that iteration even is needed that you will understand automatically. So no need to uh, have that time. Initially, AL is 00, zero BL is 00. zero. So uh, these two move instructions are done. Now what I'm doing is decrementing BL. So if I'm decrementing BL, what will happen to this BL? Yes, it is going to be FF. Yes, it is going to be uh, no sheet will not be FF, FF. It will be just FF, right? Because it is just 8-bit representation. Yes, so it is FF. What will happen to this uh, AL? What will happen to this uh, A? It will become 1. And then it will check, is is uh, this value is 0? Because last operation was of AL. So it is not going to check about this. It is going to check the last one. So it will see this operation resulted into 0. So answer will be no. So it will. That's why it will. It will go to the next iteration. It will go to the next iteration. In next iteration, what will happen? Decrement BL. So it will become FE, and then it will increment AL. It it will increment AL, and what will happen to AL? AL will become zero two, and it will check is zero to zero. No answer will be no. So it will go to the next iteration. Again, it will decrement uh, BL. So it will become F. D and and this will become 0, 3, so on. It will continue up to which value of AL? When my AL will become what, then it will stop. For which value of AL it is going to stop? Yes, AL when AL will become 0. So my question is, when AL becomes 0, and then what will happen to my BL? That is what the question is. What will be the content of BL at that time? So here it is very easy. See, if you will look at, like if this is incrementing by one, this is decrementing by one, uh, this is incrementing by one again, then this is decrementing by one. So if you will see that, what is the summation, like uh, summation of this two, or overall the summation of this two will remain what? What is the summation here? It is going to be zero, zero. Here also, if you will see the summation was zero, zero. If this will increment by one, this will decrement by one, uh, then summation will still remain zero, zero, right? So that is what the pattern that you can see here. And because as this will increase, other is going to decrease. So summation is going to remain a constant one, right? So tell me when this will become zero, zero, what will happen to this? So that summation remains zero, zero. Yes, it is, it is going to be zero, zero. 
so this is what your answer is because as this will increase na this is going to decrease right so uh, so that is that is a summation will remain constant and what is that summation zero zero so if this becomes zero zero this has to be zero zero so that answer will be uh, so that in that way the changes will take place are you getting so answer will be zero zero here any doubt in this question or any other question so far anyone any doubt so far okay so i'm assuming the answer is zero zero that is clear to you now what is now trace this program i'm not going to trace this can anyone tell me what this program does trace this if you have not traced if you don't get the time at the time you can quickly trace it it is not difficult take your two minutes uh, and trace it what this program does it is not difficult one yes it finds maximum okay vimal says it finds maximum what about others what about others vimal also you also try to verify i will say no so try to think does it find is it finding maximum okay yes says and shell says that they will find minimum what about others priyank also says that it will be minimum okay aditya also says that it will be minimum okay so am i audible okay so now uh, so yes answer will be see let us quickly see uh, what we are having we are having uh, cx value 5 why it is 5 because we are having totally five numbers to compare right then we are taking first number in ax we are incrementing our si so this is in ax and this is pointed by si currently and then if you will see decrementing of cx because now it is 4 so now because i have taken two numbers i have to compare this two then i will compare this two then i mean next two so in short totally four comparisons i am going to have that's why the cx is decremented right so i will check i mean is 
C X zero. That means have I completed all four uh, comparisons? No. Then if it is yes, then it is over. Otherwise, what you have to do? Um, then you have to go for the next one. Compare these two. So currently, I am comparing A X and S I. And if carry occurs, what is the meaning of that? That A X minus A X minus this. Generates carry. That means this is smaller than this, right? Yes, borrow is generated. Yes, if it is borrow is generated, then what will happen? If borrow is generated, then what to do? Then skip. Go to the next one. So that means what? What I kept in A X the smaller number that I that is what I kept in A X, right? If it is not the case, then swap. That means again in A X I kept the smaller number, right? So from this two, I am going to keep this in A X. Right? Then I will come. Then what I am doing? I am going to next. Next, that means SI was pointed here. Now SI is incremented here, and this is what in AX. Again, compare this two. If this is smaller, keep it in that. If it is not, then keep this in AX. So according to that, this will be in AX. And then after that, I am going to next. Again, this SI is incremented. Right? So now I will compare this two. Now, which number is uh, smaller? This number itself is smaller than B two one three. Zero is required because it was it is starting from alphabet. Otherwise, it is D two one three number and it is larger than the current value of A X. And hence, what will happen? We will skip it. We will we will directly take the next number here. And the next number is also larger than the A X one. And hence, what will happen? Uh, again, we are going to skip until time my C X is my C X will be zero because for this comparison it was four. For this, it will be three. Then for the next it will be two, and then it will be one, and afterwards it will be zero, and hence I will stop. So what will be the value in A X? In A X it will keep a minimum number. So it finds a minimum from a block of five sixteen bit numbers and stores in B X. So whatever the answer you have in A X, it is stored in B X. Okay, so this is what it is going to do, and this is where our discussion on paper ends. Any doubt in paper? In case you have, you can ask. Regarding to this portion, so all everyone is clear with the paper. Okay, so so now we can we should move to the next one. I I have seen that see minor. What I observe in your paper that you have ignored some uh, some behavior of the instructions. You have you have not you have to understand the the instructions and their behavior thoroughly. You have to uh, you have to remember that which kind of flags are affected by which instructions and Uh, what are the minor things regarding to instructions that you generally ignore? Everyone knows that multiplication do the multiplication, right? MUL instruction is going to do the multiplication, 32-bit number. Then it will get stored in DX, and otherwise it will get stored in AX. That everyone knows. This is not a big deal. What you have to understand here that certain flags are affected, like OF and CUI will be cleared after that. That was a, that was a, the thing that is important, of course. You will understand why. In future, you are going to understand it why. But um, you know, generally, everyone ignores that, and that is what should not be done in the next session. Minor things you should be careful about, right? So everything is important. Whatever we are discussing in class, indeed, every line of our discussion is important. So just take care according to that. Okay. So fine. So uh, no issues. We are starting with uh, the current session. Any doubt in case you have in In current session, in the previous lecture also, but now onwards you just make sure that uh, minor things you are not ignoring. So in case you have any doubt, you are not clear with even small things, you are going to ask me immediately. Okay, so what we are doing here? So what we completed regarding to we completed up to uh, SHR. Have we completed uh, S? I mean SAR and SHR. We completed all the instructions and we completed these programs as well, right? Now we are going for the rotate uh, uh, rotate uh, instructions. we are going for the rotate instructions rotate is what like what was shift 
shift was like you you were shifting it and you were moving it to somewhere in carry whatever was remaining at the end these things were moved to carry and we were shifting them and whatever was the empty space that empty space we were filling with some additional information maybe it is zero maybe it is msb if it is arithmetic right instruction right so right shift instruction but what you were doing you were filling up we were not rotating the bits now what is the difference between shifting and rotating this will get somewhere here this will get somewhere here i hope you are getting it this will come here right so if i am going rotate left what will happen uh, you you are going to uh, uh, what will happen in the left part so we will uh, uh, we are going to um, shift like this and we are going to rotate it into the left one right and this will this will go to carry as well as this will come to uh, the at the at the lsb so msb will come to lsb it's like lsb will go to the previous, next step uh this is suppose by zero bit then this zero bit will go to one bit one bit will go to two bit and then two bit uh, second bit will go to in that way msb so uh, uh, that uh, second last bit will come to msb and msb will go to lsb okay so that is what the rotate instruction is but while it is copying to lsb at the same time it can be it is copied to cf as well so whatever your mfp msb is it is also stored in lsb and it is stored in a uh, carry flag as well so that is what a rotate instruction is so rotate left is what you are going to take your um, register or destination i should not write it here register make sure that this is destination this can be register or memory location this can be register or memory location like you can write here as rol shift i mean rotate left by uh, byte pointer si this is also valid instruction byte pointer si with 4 this is also a valid one okay so this can be register here it is it is shown as register but it can be a, a memory location as well right so this is this is what is Okay. What about rotate right? What is rotate right? <coughs> What will happen? We are uh, moving like this. We are rotating it to right, rotating it to right. Yes, it will be inverse process of this, right? And then what will happen? This will go to carry as well as this will go where? This will also go to your LSP. Okay. So that is rotate right. Okay. Now. Uh, okay now rotate uh, so what was happening here in this what we were doing that whichever bit was left out here this bit was left out that was copied to carry as well as the same bit was copied here right but and here also if you will see whatever was left out this left out bit was copied to carry as well as it was copied to uh, this one so this bit which was left out was copied to your lsb i mean msb here and here uh, this bit uh, I, i mean this bit was left out that was copied here msb was left out that is copied here now what is the next instruction that we are having rotate carry left here it was rotate left only as it was expected that my bit 8 bits are there or 16 bits are there they are getting rotated but now rotate carry left what is the meaning here can you understand from this figure what will happen but it is left that means this is shifted here this is shifted here right this will get shifted here in that way this will yes msb to carry and what will happen to carry whatever so msb will go to carry but what will happen to carry yes carry to lsb so through carry you can say yes carry to lsb true absolutely correct here so rotate uh, left through carry yes it will go to lsb absolutely correct so what will happen uh, so this is actually you can see that rotate left through carry all right so carry will come to lsb and this will go uh, somewhere here okay then same way rotate carry right i don't think that uh, that is difficult again what will happen what will happen this lsb will go to this lsb will go to carry and carry will go to msb as the direction you can understand so that is how uh, this rotate carry right 
or you can say rotate right through care you buy via care you can say like that okay so do you want to have a program here yeah, uh, okay like write the aim or uh, solve this aim Okay, write a program to separate symbols of 16-bit number. Write a program to separate symbols of 16-bit number. What is the case that you have to separate out? Nibbles of 16 bit number. What is the meaning of that? Suppose my number is 5, 4, 5, 4, A2. Then what I need? One I need is 5, 4, A, and 2. This is what I need separately. In one, uh, I want this 5, 4, A2 stored in different locations or other I should say, uh, okay, you can store it in different locations or you can store it in different registers. That is okay. Okay, so what you are doing is uh, XOR AX with 0, F, BX with F0. Okay, so what you want to do, uh, what is in, what you are storing in AX, Prince? What you are storing in AX? Okay, and what are in BX? What is in BX? Same. Okay. Okay. So what will happen here? So you are going for 0F. 0F, that means this 2 is separated out. So in AX, 2 will be there. Right? Okay. Then in BX, F0, that means A0 will be the result, if I am not wrong. In BX, the result will be A0. Is that the case, Prince? In AX, it will be 0, 0, 0, 2. But is that the thing? Is... No. But what he has taken 0F. AX is 16-bit number. He has not taken FF. Priyank. So what will happen now? Is that the thing that I need? And uh, okay, so now if I'm a, if having A0, then also the required answer is A only. I don't even want A0. I want 0, 0, 0, A and B, yes, in case I'm using 16 bit. See, why this is not uh, uh, this is not a good solution? Because I'm storing my one nibble in 16 bit register. That should not happen. Use AL to store your nibble in case you want to store your use the register only. Don't in AL1, in AH another, BL another, and BH another. In that way, you just use 8 bits. Do not use 16 bit to store a nibble. This is not an uh, efficient approach. Right? One thing. And second is, I, I want in one register, I want two. In another register, A. Third register, four. And fourth register, five. And should it be XOR or should it be AND? Should it be XOR or should it be AND? Prince? Mm. 
Yes, it should be end. So operation should be end. It should not be XOR. If whatever uh, the things that uh, I mean, what if this result you desired, or in case you want to go with XOR, then this logic will be somewhat different. I mean, uh, that according to the program we have to decide whether it's correct or not. But if you want this result that we discuss for that end is required, right? So now uh, write a program and give me so that we can quickly discuss that. Okay, so tell me, uh, anyone is anyone ready with the program? See what you have to do. Any idea if you are getting? Discuss the idea in case you are having the idea. Uh, you can write it in chat box so that everyone can uh, uh, listen that and understand. Are you are you working on this? What is your status? Let me know. Are you working on this? What exactly are you doing? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So think of and I'm giving you two, three minutes more to work on that. I can give you the hint. You can use shift or rotate instructions to help. Yes, Kaushal has written somewhere something here that end with zero FF and end with FF zero zero. So fifty four and eight are separated. To get four into uh, separately, what you have to do? You have to end with zero F and that eight bit register. And to get five in A, uh, end with F zero. So eight bit register uh, in that eight bit register you will get. Uh, right, then uh, exactly correct. What he is doing, in, what Kaushal is doing here, that uh, five for five four uh, uh, five four a two. What he is doing, first of all, he is separating out this two five four and a two by multiply uh, by ending with ff here zero zero ff. He is going to get a two in some register, and then by uh, ending with ff zero zero fifty four zero zero. So one register will be zero zero a two. Right, and another register is going to be five four zero zero. This is one uh, of the idea that uh, he has applied. Up to this, uh, he has just separated out two eight bit numbers to get four, uh, uh, four and two. So simply end with zero f. So yes, now should now um, yes. So now what I have to do? Suppose this is in a x. That means this is in uh, this is in a l. This is in a H, right? Suppose this is in B X. That means this is in B L and this is in B H. Now to get two and to get four, 
I have to take A L. I have to take B H, and I have to end with zero F. Suppose I am ending this A L with zero F, right? What I am going to get is zero two. So if I am ending with B H, and I am ending, I am using B H and zero F, then I am going to get zero four, right? So that up to these two numbers are with us, no issues in this. Now, um, and so in that register, it will register this particularly this one and this one. We are using zero F H to get five and A to get this five and A. What we need to do is uh, end with F zero. Yes, we have to end with F zero. So if I am ending, so what will be if I am ending A L with F zero? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, and uh, Ronak, we will go to that one. Yes. Uh, with if I am going with a, if I am going for F zero, it will be A and zero. I am going to get A zero, and here I am going to get five zero. Then what I have to do? I have to shift right by four. So this will be if I am shifting right by four, I am going to get zero A, and here if I am, I will get zero five. Absolutely correct, right? But if we can use some loops and such things. Um, Caution! If we can use the, some loops and uh, rotate uh, shift instructions and loops, so this process can be reduced to few lines, right? So, if possible, try. Otherwise, logic-wise, absolutely correct. It is going to work. But if you can optimize in terms of lines by using some loops and um, what we can say uh, that jump instructions and all, and uh, repeating because here I we have to do repeated task. That what what it is. Like uh, uh, that, ending with zero F is a repeated process, right? Rotating is repeated twice. So, if possible, try to optimize the code while doing. Otherwise, logic-wise, it is absolutely correct. Now, let us see what uh, Ronak has done. Ronak has, I think, uh, ha. Ronak has taken a number and then uh, he has ended with zero F and A X is now having zero 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 two. And again, see zero 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 two, and that value is stored in B X. Now, what he has done? Then he has rotated it four times. So now it is five four, uh, whatever it is in two five four A. That will be the number now. And again, he has done the same thing. And again, he has rotated eight times. Original number he has taken, and he has rotated again. Uh, ended with uh, and ended with zero F. And again, the answer will be A two. Five four in that four you are going to get. And according to that, the last number also you can understand. I agree, Ronak. Uh, but what is what is the two problems I could identify here? What is that? Uh, repeated instructions are there, right? So you could have been you could you could have used uh, this loop and jump instructions. Like right? second thing is that you are using to store a nibble. You are using bx, cx, dx, and all those numbers ax. So you are using 16-bit register to store a, a one just four bits. So it, it would have been optimal if you have used eight-bit register. But otherwise, this is going to work, right? Uh, we have Yash has also uh, Yash has um, suggested here again uh, and with uh, okay, okay. So what he has taken that he has taken five four here in AL in H as well. And again, so I think everyone is using. Uh, I think uh, everyone is uh, yes. In AL, he has taken five four five four in AL and H, and ended with zero F F zero and H is rotated four times. And same thing for BL and BH. True. This will also work. This is a little bit optimal. Still, it, it optimality is possible here. Uh, let us go to the next case. Yes, this is. Uh, Vimal has given even more optimal solution, and what he has taken, he has taken number in A X, then he has uh, rotated it four times, right, and then ended with zero F. In short, what again, ending with zero F, and uh, rotating the procedure you understood. You can use rotate or you can use shift. This is not going to make any difference. Just make sure that you are not using rotate through carry. We don't want to change the number, right? So make sure that you are not using rotate through carry, and even if you are using, well, it should not make the difference in your code, right? And uh, here I don't think that it will, it will. It is also possible to use, but still, I think uh, everyone uh, should be careful while using rotate through carry. So, uh, Vima, yes, your solution seems optimal. I have not traced down, but yes, it, I wanted like that only. That you just take a number, rotate it, and end with zero F. 
again you shift or rotate whatever you want to do and again end with uh, end with uh, 0f and store it in some memory location instead of using register so that the number of lines can be reduced i have not pressed down but i think this is the logic that you have used and this is correct okay this is right okay now uh, we uh, so i think uh, everyone is clear so if you want to write down some other aims you can write down the other aims i'm not going to solve them right now but uh, you can write the aim if you are interested in write a program to exchange the nibbles of 16 bit number exchange the nibbles of uh, 16 bit number sorry i exchange the nibbles of 8 bit how otherwise it's in 16 bit it will be difficult to understand you can shift the locations of that that is okay but that can be a modified version but exchange the nibbles of what you can say uh it given of given byte right that is what your assignment is i am not mentioning it here But in your free time, you can try. In of course, in your laboratory session, you can execute that. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I will stop before that. Just one uh, instruction is uh, I I would like to discuss direction flag, right? Direction flag has its own importance. What is that importance that we will discuss in the next um, in the next session? But right now, I have two instruction: clear direction flag. and set direction uh, set direction flag right what this clear direction flag will do from the name what do you understand clear direction flag what it will make direction flag is equal to 1 or 0 yes it is going to make it 0 yes it is going to make it 0 while set direction flag will make it 1 right so now um, so whenever your direction flag is 0 it is called as up direction and whenever your direction flag is 1 then it is called a down direction when it is up that means it is zero every time the automatic increment happens in your increment happens in your uh, in in your si in string instruction si is incremented that means your string is uh, okay suppose i have a string like hello world right i am storing it as hello just keep it as hello what is in in memory location how it is stored in first memory location it will stored as h suppose my that memory location offset is 0010 can you tell me what will be stored in 0011 what what is stored in 0011 if i am storing hello string in my memory the offset for h is 0010 can you tell me what will be the offset for uh, i mean what will be stored in 0011 location suppose i am storing hello here h is stored in h then it will be e yes e then l at 2 and uh, again l at 13 i hope you all understand right so what will happen when i am reading the string and my direction flag is clear that means it is up that means i will my my address the current offset address is automatically incremented so currently if it is 1 0 it will go to 1 1 currently if it is 1 1 then it will go to 1 2 that means first you if you are here you will next read e if you are here you will next read l that means if you are here you will next read e if you are here then you will next read l that means you are reading your string from left to right can i say like that you are reading your string from left to right why because you are reading this letter first then it is incremented that's why you will read this first suppose your current suppose your current location is this and i say your si or your current pointer is decreasing where you will go to where you will go to suppose your current pointer is decrementing we are currently pointing somewhere here and i say that your current pointer is decrementing then what you will read if you are reading currently e what you will read sorry you will read l what you will read again if your pointer is decrementing yes you are going to read l so currently if you are here you will read l right again if it is decremented you will read e and again if you are here then if it is decremented you will read h that means can i say you are reading from right to left right so this is what will happen this is the importance of direction flag how to use that you will see in the next lecture
and these two instructions are very much useful to read the string from left to right and right to left. Why? Because it is setting and we setting the direction. So I'm stopping the discussion here. Any doubt in case you can reach me anytime.